Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do something fun which is reverse geolocation. So you've got your coordinates but now you want an actual address. You want some meat on your bones. And that is what I'm going to show you how to put on in this video. Because in this video we're going to go over reverse geolocation and we're going to transform the old and boring coordinates into a fancy address. So keep watching if that is something you want to know how to do. So before we start we need some coordinates because reverse geolocating is as I said about turning coordinates into an address. So what we need is instead of starting all the way from scratch I'm going to get a project that we made previously and it's called how to get the user's current location and you can download the project file by clicking either here or clicking here and I will link this site in the description. So after you have downloaded it, you will be left with something like this. You will be left with exactly this because we will have the same file. And then you just open that Xcode project file, click on open. And then we are going to make the adjustments that we need in order to turn the, uh, turn the coordinates that we have right now into real addresses. So what we're going to do is we're going to first of all take a look at the storyboard. So here is our map view which displays where our user currently is. Now we are just going to shrink this map view a bit and I'm going to remove the constraint. Let's see on the bottom here so we don't get a problem. So this one and then I'm going to drag in a label that is going to display the current address. So instead of just showing a blue dot where the user is, we are going to get this one to display. Uh, we're going to get it to display the actual address. So let's center this one and add some lines to it so that instead of just being one line, we can actually have multiple lines. So just say four, five, that will be more than sufficient. And then I'm going to, let's see, add some constraints right there just like this and hopefully this works out these constraints which they probably don't let's see because we need we need to remove let's see hopefully I'm not confusing you but really this is not that important it's just so I'm sure that this one will show up correctly when we run it so let's see this should work and it does. Okay, awesome. So now we have the storyboard set up. Just don't mind the constraints as long as you have a map view right here and you have a label right here with multiple lines. Everything is fine. So now we are going to head over to the view controller. And as you can see here, we have code that is uh, getting our location of the user. And if you don't know what all of this means, then also click the link in the description uh, to the site where we downloaded this project and there will be a video where I explain all of this. But right now we are going to turn these coordinates that we have right now into an address. So what we do is we say CL Geo Coder and then we do it like this and then we say reverse geolocation and I'm just going to make sure that we have the right one. Uh, I think we are going to go with this one exactly. Then the location is going to be this one so left location that is the location of our user and then double click on the um, completion handler and we are going to need two variables. We are first of all going to need the play mark and we are going to uh, get an error if that is something. Hopefully we don't get the error, but of course sometimes that happens. And we need to be prepared for that. So if the error is not equal to nil, which means we have an error, then we're just going to really do nothing. But right now I'm just going to print there was an error. So if there is an error, uh, with turning the coordinates into an address, then we're just going to print this to the logs. But if everything was successful, we say else. And then what we're going to try to do is see if there is some content 
in this stuff so in this variable right here so this one keeps track of all the addresses of this location and we're going to see if it was able to extract some information about that location nice rhyme there so we're going to say if let and I'm just going to call it uh, place is equal to place mark place mark and then we're going to take the first one so the most recent one because this is an array and it constantly fills up so we always want to have the first element and this is optional so we need a question mark there and there is some more errors here that we need to let's see expect it okay uh, <laughs> yeah of course and then we're going to create the if function so what we have here is we now have the address in this place variable. So we can now access almost anything. We can just write place dot, and then you see um, country. Uh, we can see, th uh, let's see, th <laughs> how do you write this? Thoroughfare, subthoroughfare, and try, try whatever you want to try here. But here you will have all the information that you need about a certain address now sometimes these will have a value of nil so these are all optional variables so um, let's try to print them to our label so that we can see that we actually have something here but first before we do that we need to connect our label so just control drag the label right in there and just name it label connect it and let's see and then we're going to set the label the text of the label so first self dot label dot text is equal to let's try place um, dot to make it easy country and let's try to run this and see what we've got so here is our app launched and we have currently set it to let's see a city bicycle ride and as you can see we have the country which is United States and this is great now we have uh, seen that this actually does work and now we can try to extend it by adding some more information to that label so what I'm going to do is of course there it can be a good idea to constantly check with an if statement if there is a value in place dot country because if it's not you will get a crash so what you could do is but I'm not going to do it but what you could do which is would be probably would be best is say if let um, country is equal to place dot country and then down here you then write your code because then you know that this is an empty and you were able to pass this value to this variable right here but I'm just going to take the risk to make things easy and I'm just going to see add some things here so I'm going to add first of all place.country and let's see, oh, let's see. Ch -ch -ch -ch. there we go and then I'm going to add um, a line break let's see line no 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 there we go a line break and then I'm going to add let's see place let's make this bigger so we have more space place um, at this one also place dot uh, sub thoroughfare and I'm going to add also the thoroughfare which probably should be before thoroughfare we got it in a bit wrong um, let's see I'm going to add place dot thoroughfare right here and another line break there we go and then I'm going to add country to the last place let's see remove this I'm going to add it right here so we are first going to get in our label now if they aren't nil which is a risk to take but I, I'm going to take the risk because I'm a I, I, I yeah I take risk with my codes so here I'm first going to pass the get the thoroughfare then the sub thoroughfare and then the country uh, yep, this is correct, but I want this one to be before the thoroughfare because then first sub thoroughfare, thoroughfare, 
and country. Let's try to run it and see what we've got. So here we go, here we have uh, our information, we have our sub thoroughfare right here, we have our thoroughfare right here, and we have our country right here. And they were nil uh, right when the app launched, but because we haven't forced unwrapped them, uh, it works. Because as you can see, it now stands optional. But if we don't want that optional thing, we have to force unwrap all these variables. This means that if this value is nil, our app will crash. So I'm going to build in a bit of a safety net, the one that I discussed before, and I'm going to say if let, uh, I'm just going to call it um, checker, which really doesn't matter, it's just to check if the value of, this, of the sub thoroughfare is a nil, and if it is nil, then we're not going to run this code. Uh, but if it has a value, we are going to run this code and we're not going to get a crash because in order to remove the optional we have to force unwrap it and by doing that we say we are sure that this one contains a value and if it doesn't and we run the app it will crash so we are going to check if it has a value and if it does we're going to place this in our label so let's try to run it once again and see that everything runs smoothly here we go, as you can see, it now longer stands optional. We now have our sub thoroughfare, we have our thoroughfare and our country. Is it named thoroughfare? I don't know how you pronounce it, but this is at least some of the information that we can get out of it. As you, as I can quickly show you here, you can get so much more dot. I even think you can get the floor, no, okay. <laughs> but you can get so uh, incredible amount of information. Everything that you will need, you just have to say place dot and then the information that you want you can just scroll here in land water I don't even know what all of these means but here postal call uh, postal code sub locality time zone all this good stuff that you some of it you will need some of it you will not need but that's the thing with code uh, before I ra ramble on here I'm just going to say thank you for watching and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this little tutorial and got a bit wiser on reverse geolocating. And uh, yeah, once again, thank you for watching and make sure that you click the subscribe button so that you stay tuned for future videos.